commence. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Head Heart Balance, the Art of Phenomenalism conference. We are here at the European Center of Phenomenalism in Brussels to learn more about the European Phenomenalism Network. I am Valentin from Brussels and I will be the moderator today in this special circus studio next to the Canal of Brussels that you will see very soon. But first, just a few housekeeping rules. If you would like to ask anything from today's speakers, you can post your questions via the chat function. We may not get to all of them during the session, but we will try our best to answer them afterwards through our social media. Connect with us all about the conference on Twitter. Use the hashtag wirescrossed and ask questions, share photos and more. So we are here at the Brussels Canal for a phenomenal crossing. Around 15 phenomenals will be walking today, all afternoon, on a 42 meters long wire, 9 meters above the water. You'll be able to look at them in real time on your screen. The European Phenomenalism Network has been organizing these crossings over the canal for over, te for over 10 years. So we will welcome here Vincent Waters, the founder of the Centre Européen de Phenomenalisme, to explain us a little bit more about that event. Vincent? Hello, who are you? Fine, fine. It's a very important day today. It's a very important day. So, Vincent, can you tell us first a bit more about the European Phenomenalism Network? What is that? The European Phenomenalism Network is a partnership between different circus schools. And uh, uh, 10 years ago, when I started the, the project, uh, and uh, I, I was so happy with the, the crossing of the canal and the walking on wire with Paul, uh, I proposed to the director of the network caravan, uh, European network with circus schools, uh, I proposed the, the, the director to, to walk on a wire okay. and uh, it was a good way to open a network and uh, many of them say, oh, that's so good, that's so cool, we have to do that in our okay, country. So, oh, great, great, great. So that's about the European network. Um, today there is a special event here. What is exactly happening today at the crossing? What is the crossing over the canal? The canal of Brussels, it's a not so nice canal, but we, think, we thought it's good to use this canal mm -hmm. to make a, a performance. And uh, so we decided to ask the, 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 the official, is it possible to do it? And we started 10 years ago and two, two times a year, we organized the crossing and today we are in July and we organized the crossing with many people. Okay, so the first time you talked about crossing the canal to the officials of Brussels, how did they react? We have a good contact with the with the the, 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 the city, and uh, they they were surprised, but they, they trust us because we organize many special events. But uh, but they help us, and then they said, "Yes, it's a good idea. We are with you." That's perfect. Thank you. So um, here, um, so thank you, Vincent. The participants are now crossing the canal, but they had to train before the event. The European Phenomenalism Network is hosting phenomenalism courses and workshops all through the year. So, Vincent, about phenomenalism, who can do phenomenalism? Do you need special abilities, skills? Do you need to be fit? What age do you have to be? Can who 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 do you uh, who can do phenomenalism? I, I think everybody can do phenomenalism. Uh, you you need nothing except to be able to walk, and if you can walk on a bike, a bicycle, that's good too, and that's enough. And after that, you have to make an inscription and an inscription in a workshops, and we will will work with you to help you to understand that it's really accessible. So the most important thing is to be able to make an inscription for a workshop. Okay, and that I guess uh, people can help you get that yes. online. And it's really accessible. It's, it's, uh, with, with a poll, it's really accessible. Without poll, it's, it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, Slack line. Many people as a, uh, buy a Slack line, but 
not a lot of use it. So what age were the youngest and the, the oldest participants in phenomenalism courses? We, we, we ask uh, not under 10 years old because it's so easy that the, the, the child, uh, the children uh, have no enough concentration and sometimes they fall down. And it's not because it's difficult because they, they, have, they are not uh, afraid enough. And uh, uh, the, in the, the more aged, uh, it's uh, 76 years old. Okay. An American man came from the uh, US and uh, the first uh, times he made only the workshops and he come back four years later after that and he made the crossing and he is so happy. That's and great. His name is David. His name is David, thank you. So um, how do you get to that? What do you learn during the workshops then? What during a workshop, how will you learn? What do you learn? How does it work to go from one thing to the other? You, you learn about uh, uh, you learn a lot about you. You learn that sometimes you are really afraid, but you, you do it and you trust the coach who you, you who explain you can do it. You, you you can do it, you do it, but slowly, step by step, not too quickly. If you go too quickly, you will fall down. But if you respect uh, step by step, and I think in the life, it's good to go step by step, not too quickly. You you learn uh, about your emotion. You have to, to to control your emotion. You you understand, you learn about your uh, respiration, your brain, breathing. your breathing. You, you learn uh, about the, the, the health of the group when you when you cross and you reach your goal the end of the wire you are so happy but it's very important to listen the applause of everybody okay, yeah. so, okay, okay. Shortly, who can do phenomenalism do you need special skills special set special to be fit abilities or no, you don't need any abilities if you can walk, uh, walk, and if you can make a bicycle, that's enough. And uh, after that, it's only walking on a wire, and with a pole, you have a real stability. And so you don't need, but if you suffer of uh, vertigo, uh, maybe that's a problem. Okay, so what do you learn during a workshop? What are the main skills you, you're learning? Is it you're, you're learning to walk on a wire, but the, what are the skills linked to that? You, you learn a lot about you, because uh, you, the first thing is uh, you don't believe that it's possible, and but we, we push you, and uh, gently we push you, and uh, you, you have to accept uh, your fear, and because uh, it's a new, really new uh, practice, a new exercise. And uh, when you are at uh, 30 centimeters on the line with the ball, you are afraid. But after five, ten minutes, you understand that's possible. But after that, we, we will push you at uh, 50 centimeters. And that's a new, it's new. And again, you are afraid by that and uh, so you learn about you you learn that uh, it's important to go to the end because uh, you can't uh, fall down we we don't accept that you fall down but don't you you have to use your pole and uh, and uh, you 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 learn about your your body your position the position of your body you learn about uh, your the, the breathing the, the respiration and uh, you learn many, many things, and you learn that uh, the group is very important, the, 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 the support of the group. And when you are on the wire, it's good to feel the support of the group, but you're, when you are not on the wire, you have to be in the group and support the other one. Nice, thank you. And so just a, a last quick question. Let's say if I am a complete beginner, and I, at the start of the week, I'm a complete beginner, at the end of the week, is it possible for me to cross the canal on a wire? Yes, that, that, that's our goal. Our goal is to uh, help 
the people to 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 start to understand to learn how to make phenobilism and uh, and slowly we 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 are on one meter two meters four meters and after that it's the crossing of the canal and it's really accessible and the preparation is very important too and uh, probably 40 percent of the trainees cross the canal after one week Okay, so it is possible to cross the canal. Thank you very much. Now let's take a look at the video to see what a workshop with the European Phenomenalism Network looks like. next to the canal and we welcome some participants we are now with Finnambil who just crossed over the canal nine meters high 42 meters long welcome okay hello what, what is your name Thomas Thomas welcome Thomas so you just crossed the canal yes can you tell if you had to choose one word to describe how you felt during the crossing si tu devais choisir un mot pour yes. décrire comment ton sentiment uh, fine to be quiet ah fine to be quiet yes nice. and how do you feel now happy, happy. <laughs> very yes. happy. you look very happy <laughs> so was it your first experience as a phenomenal or yes um I always I am um, you are you're doing circus already yeah yes but do, for the funambul it was the first time first time funambul is nice cool and would you do it again crossing the canal yes of course would you do it now uh, maybe in a few minutes if it's not too much rainy oh, okay nice uh, thank you very much okay thank you thank you it looks like a good experience you Hello, we've got another young phenomenal here. So what is your name? Capucine. Capucine. Hello, Capucine. So how did you feel when you were crossing the canal? It's, it's unbelievable and I really felt like a bird. Oui. Yep. If um, was it your first experience as a funambule? Est-ce que c'était la première expérience de funambule? Euh, non, en fait, je faisais du fil de fer avant, mais en tant que funambule, oui, c'était ma première expérience. Okay. So she was doing wire walking, but as a funambule, it's the first experience. And would you do it again? Est-ce que tu le referais? Oui, oui, sans hésiter. Oui. La semaine prochaine, si c'est possible, j'y retourne. Okay, so next week. And now, would you do it under the rain? 
Est-ce que tu le ferais sous la pluie maintenant Sous la pluie, là, pas trop envie. Hein. Oui, David. Thank you very much, Capucine. Welcome. So, third participant. What is your name? Faustine. Faustine. Hello, Faustine. So, how did you feel when you crossed that canal? Comment tu t'es senti quand tu as traversé ce canal? C'est comme être dans une bulle. On est seul, mais il y a plusieurs personnes qui disent Oh, non, tu okay, pas ça. Oh, oui, vas-y, tu peux le faire. Bien uh, sûr. <laughs> so it's like a little bubble where you've got little voices telling you what are you doing there? No, don't do that. And other other voices telling you go for it, go for it. Go for it. Génial. How do you feel now? Comment, comment tu te sens maintenant? Très bien. <laughs> Très bien. Would you go back on the wire just now? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Will you? Est-ce que tu, le, tu, vas, tu vas le faire? Oui, je vais le faire. Encore une fois. <laughs> ok, top. Thank you very much. Thank you, Faustin. And um, so uh, we will follow up. So as Vincent convinced us, everyone can walk on the wire with a balancing pole and become a phenomenal. Knowing that the European Phenomenalism Network wants to give everyone the opportunity to share this wonderful experience. It is a great way to meet people from new horizons, gain self-confidence and face your fears. In order to open our classes and workshops to everyone, we work with youth associations in the neighborhood. The Ecole des Cirques de Bruxelles develops social circus through its activities and phenomenalism is part of the project. Let's watch a video made in collaboration with youth centers and associations in Molenbeek. Video de Fimaritip. Et qu'est-ce qu'ils disent quand vous, quand vous dites que vous faites du phénomenalisme Ils disent d'abord c'est quoi Et après on dit qu'il faut marcher sur un fil, essayer de garder son équilibre, on leur explique. Et ils font waouh <laughs> Au début, ils nous disaient qu'on allait passer le canal et puis on s'est dit que ça peut être chouette. Quoi. Et c'est un truc qu'on va faire qu'on fait une ou deux fois dans sa vie. Ce n'est pas tous les jours qu'on fait ça. Parce que nous-mêmes, au début, quand on nous a dit finambulisme, on a regardé comme ça, on a fait. Et puis la première ouais. question qu'il te pose, c'est T'es attaché Alors que tu dis oui, ah, mais c'est trop facile. Alors, mais ouais, ouais, voilà, alors que c'est pas du tout Donc, facile. Alors, euh, ouais, euh, en fait, si, c'est facile. Non, ça, euh, très beau le début, on commence à pas 50 cm au fond de Donc on sera quand même fiers de nous parce que c'est quand même un objectif qu'on s'était fixé, c'était de, de passer le canal. Maintenant, le jour où on va vraiment le passer, on l'a accompli. Quoi. C'est le jour qu'on attend depuis le euh, début de la vie, quoi. Voilà, depuis 4 mois maintenant, depuis qu'on est là. En fait, pour moi, quand je suis en haut, je me dis que c'est ma traversée scolaire. Donc dès que j'arrive au milieu, c'est euh, la moitié de l'année. Et quand j'arrive au bout, c'est comme si j'avais réussi mon année. Enfin, je me dis ça dans ma tête. Après, je n'ai pas encore passé mes examens pour dire que j'ai réussi ou pas. So they look convinced. So we are here again with Vincent to talk more about what we just watched. So social circus, when and how did social circus start with phenomenalism? When did phenomenalism start going into that social circus kind of experience? The, the, the work with the neighbor started uh, when the phenomenalism started in the circus school of Brussels. In the beginning, we thought it's a good activity, a really good activity for the young people of the neighborhood. And it was not easy to catch them. And we had a very good uh, people, who, a girl who was working in the circus school, and she could, she, 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 she can uh, catch the, the, the young people. And we had a really nice group, 15, young people and the video you saw it was this 15 people and they were not so 
ready, not so motivated in the beginning. But after two days, like everybody, they started. And when they crossed the canal after five days, it was a big party. And, and they wanted to do it again then? Yes, and they wanted to do, to do it again. But after that, they didn't come back. Oh, yeah. came back. I don't know why, because uh, maybe Frenambul is too much repetition, I don't know. But uh, I want to go on. You want to go on and, hope, yeah, and find a solution for that. So, um, what are the Frenambulism benefits for social circus? Do you think Frenambulism has got special benefits for social circus? Uh, yes, uh, today, for this week, for example, we have uh, three young uh, people, young, uh, two boys and one girl, 13 years old, and uh, they come from a, a house in the neighbor, and uh, two young from uh, Africa, from Senegal. And they were so, so, they were so happy to walk, and, and now one of them crossed the canal, and I think it's the best day of his life. He was uh, on the wire, and everybody was with him, and that was so good. Great, thank you. And um, do you have any project for phenomenalism in the field of social circus in the future? Have you got new projects, new visions about social circus and phenomenalism that will arrive? Yes, uh, in Brussels we would like to, to build a kind of uh, company, a company of young young uh, phenomenal. And, uh, and I think uh, we'll make this uh, kind of company with uh, young people of the neighborhood that's, that could be so good. But, but it's not easy. It's a really hard work to be able to catch them. Thank you very much, Vincent. We will follow up with uh, Amin. Amin, Vincent, thank you. Yes, thank you. We will follow up with a participant in the social circus project. So we've got Amin here. Amin. No, no, take it up. So, um, I mean, so did you cross, did you learn phenomenalism? When did you learn phenomenalism? Quand as-tu appris le phenomenalism? Ah, je l'ai appris euh, à l'école de cirque de Bruxelles. Quand ça? Euh, je crois à mes 10 ans, 11 ans. Ok. He started the phenomenalism at 10 or 11 at the circus school of Brussels. Et est-ce que tu as traversé le canal? Did you cross the canal already? Oui, je l'ai fait plusieurs fois. Plusieurs fois, many times. Ah, yeah. And how do you feel when you cross that again and again? Why do you come back to do it? Pourquoi est-ce que tu recommences à le faire à chaque fois? Parce que tu découvres des sensations que tu n'as pas quand tu marches, juste euh, par terre. Donc, you, sur la, sur la you, get, you get feelings that you don't get normally when you're walking normally. And so these feelings, he's searching for them. Ah, yeah. And today, do you cross the canal? Aujourd'hui, est-ce que tu traverses le canal? Oui, je viens de faire ça que je suis Ah, you just did it. That's why you're, you're, you're wet. Okay, thank you very much, Amin. Bonjour. Hello. Hello, I don't speak French, just English or German? Just English and all German. We or will German. do it in English or if it's Romanian. all right for you. Or Romanian. <laughs> or Hungarian. <laughs> that could be cool. <laughs> so, hello. Can you present yourself? Uh, hello, my name is Emma Shevadina and I'm from Romania. So today, you, did you cross the canal? Yeah, I've uh, done it, yes, uh, a few minutes ago. A few minutes, how did you feel? In one word, if you had to describe your feelings, how would you describe them? Crazy. <laughs> crazy, that was the first time, that was crazy. Did you, were you scared? Uh, just a little bit, but then when I was on the wire, uh, I felt so confident and it was really, 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 uh, cool and uh so i you, would like to do it again <laughs> will you do it again today uh i hope so yeah uh, it's raining very hard but uh, i hope i can do it again was it raining when you crossed uh, as well? yeah, a little bit how was that feeling uh, i was afraid that it would be um um uh, sloopy or, uh, yep. yeah slippery, slippery. Yep. uh but uh, it wasn't so um uh, i don't like rain i i must uh, i like sun i love sun and uh, i have a very bad relationship with rain but now i think uh, with these memories uh, i uh, i can fall in love also with this, uh, this rain and this kind of weather Great, great, great. Thank you very much. You, so you're going to be back on the wire quite soon then. Uh, hopefully, yes. Thank you very much.
We welcome another participant. Hello. Hi. What is your name? My name is Gabriela. Gabriela, the, where are you from? From Romania. Also. From Romania also. So you came as well from Romania to cross the canal today. Yes. 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 <laughs> How was it? Uh, I don't know if uh, I know that you ask if there's a word to describe the, but I don't know if there are words to describe it because I think it's so. So something else then. Yeah, then words. Yeah. <laughs> it's something that you cannot describe. It. You cannot describe, but yeah. you, would you recommend it to other people? Yes, <laughs> of yes. course, to all people. <laughs> I feel that maybe you feel that you're reborn with this. Okay. It's something really, yeah, it's peaceful and... Uh, do you, do you practice phenomenalism as well at, uh, in Romania at home? Yeah, I started to practice, but just uh, maybe one month. I did mm. a couple of hours. Yeah. And and will, then, will you do it more then? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. I will do it. <laughs> now it'll be like, yeah, part of my life for sure. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, we are here with Tom, who is a social social circus. Uh, no, sorry, who is a social worker in a youth club in uh, Les Marolles in Brussels, and he's been participating in a program of wire of uh, phenomenalism with young people. So, could you tell us a bit more about the project? Uh, so, it's a European project uh, with uh, the circus school here in Brussels. Mm -hmm. uh, Europe uh, give money to this project, but uh, Vincent, the headmaster of the school, say, okay, but I want to have other uh, students than the uh, circus school here in Brussels. So, he take in Hollandex some uh, teenagers and he search for uh, Use, use center and uh, he found us and we accept with a pleasure and it's uh, an incredible project and uh, we hope uh, next year from uh, September to I don't know <laughs> um, we will continue a phenomenalism project with our uh, teenagers. With your teenagers. So how many teenagers uh, participated in the project from your social club? Uh, this week it's uh, only four, mm -hmm. but uh, we hope uh, maybe for older uh, teenagers, maybe 12, 16, 18, maybe 20 years old to participate to this project. Nice, nice, nice. And so the, 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 the kids that uh, cross today are all the way there? What? Quel quel âge avaient les enfants qui ont uh, 14. 14. Okay. Super. But uh, and how do you feel? You 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 have crossed the canal as well. Yes. Yes. That's your first time as a phenomenal. Uh, yes. Yes. First time. Uh, and if someone told me one week ago, if today I cross the canal without falling, I can surely uh, answer to this person. You I I can't. But uh, the future uh, give me a wrong. Nice. <laughs> I did it today. It's really cool, really amazing sensation, emotions. And uh, I can only uh, recommend to anyone to try it. Great. Great. So you, in one week, you went from total beginner to yes. the canal. Great. Well, uh, congratulations. So we will. Thank you very much, Tom. You're welcome. Bye bye. Um, so, as you know, the European Phenomenology Network also works on international and European projects. Last week in Brussels, a session of Erasmus Plus funded project called Mind Your Balance just ended. We are with Uka from with Marta. We are with Marta. Uh, she participated at the session. So, Marta, can you come? Yes. Your website, that's normal. Hello, Marta, can you, pres Hello. Can you present yourself? Hi, I am uh, Marta, I am from Spain and I did the uh, pedagogical formation in Brussels uh, three or four years ago and now I'm living in Köln. Yeah. And yeah, I'm doing circus there. And now in Brussels, and I'm excited because now uh, in five minutes I have to cross. <laughs> in five minutes, you've got to cross. Okay. <laughs> so you, you just participated in mind, your, in mind Your Balance. Yes. What is Mind Your Balance? Mind Your Balance is a project, a European project from different uh, circus school, mm -hmm. And uh, the project is uh, for 
to be a teacher, a Funambis teacher. Okay, that's trained to be a trainer. Ah, that's great. Yes. And so how did you feel during that training in, in Brussels? Do you feel trained enough to, to train other people and to keep the movement of Funambulism through the Europe? If I feel... Uh, if you feel now that you will be able yes. to train other people and... Yes, uh, there are... Uh, we are doing now the first level mm -hmm. and then there are three levels more I think and uh, for the first level it's nice you feel already ready to to share with the people your knowledge mm -hmm. but for the installation it's not not yet. not yet I think so a big thing is not yet but, okay, but you will you will follow up the I, training yes yes nice. what are your plans uh, what are the plans uh, what are the plans for the future of phenomenalism for you um, I cool. don't think about it yeah, maybe because there there isn't. Uh, I didn't see uh, people doing that there, but there is one more, may, more than one circus school there, and maybe it would be nice to share it and to do a connection between Brussels and Cologne because it's really near. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it could be nice to do more there and bring it to the people. Yes. Nice one. How do you feel about the crossing in three minutes now? <laughs> Uh, I feel nervous because, because it's raining a lot and um, yeah, I would like to do uh, a lot of figures that I, that I wanted to do today, but uh, we will see with the rain. We'll see. Yes, but it, it's exciting. <laughs> and we can see you on the little screen there as well. Oh, okay. So I have to do it on that part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Marta. Yeah, thank you. And nice crossing. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. So let's see what a mind your balance in Brussels look like with a video made from a previous, previous session in back in 2019. My eyes are very happy. excited I'm literally ready to cry of happiness <laughs> So back in Brussels, another rain. So we are here with Uka from the Serious Road Trip Romania. She participated in the session as well. So tell us a bit more about yourself. 
I am 33 years old. <laughs> I have two girls that are amazing. And uh, I believe in circus. It's like my religion, if <laughs> we could say it like this, because I'm sure and I feel in my work that circus brings people together mm -hmm. and brings them closer to themselves and to what is uh, important in life. Okay. Nice. And so you, you just ended a, a session of Mind Your Balance in Brussels. Can you tell me a, small, a, bit more, a bit more about that? Yes. So we were here for five days. I came together with two wonderful ladies from Timisoara that you've already met. <laughs> cool. So uh, Gabi and Emeshe, they started Funambulism in the last month. They did uh, Funambulism training like once a week. And then here in Brussels, when they came, they had really uh, an objective. It was to cross the canal. And so it was a high objective for the um, a little experience that they had and I am really really amazed on how they managed to to walk on the wires to find their balance and to go higher and higher and now both of them today they manage the canal and they just say they want more so it's amazing so any plans for phenomenalism in the future yes for sure we will host the last week of training for trainers in Romania mm -hmm. in first week of October we have high hopes for this <laughs> and uh, We will invite also people from Romania, beginners, to work with us. We because it's a training of trainers, so we really need the uh, participants <laughs> to try our competences out with. And uh, we plan to have a crossing of uh, Bega Canal, which is the canal uh, that passes in the center city of Timisoara. Nice, good one. And how was the crossing? Have you crossed already, or are you crossing later? I crossed, yes, once, and I will cross later <laughs> once more. It was uh, really good, even though there was a lot of wind and a bit of rain. So, uh, but this just proves us that uh, funambulism, with funambulism, you can overcome any obstacles. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you also. <laughs> We will follow up with Vincent. Yes. So we are here with Vincent again to talk about the social, uh, the, sorry, the European project. So My New Balance, what is this about? My New Balance, it's a training of trainers. And so to organize this network, we need uh, trainers. And, uh, and we organize a training of trainers. And My New Balance in Brussels, it's the third week Of training mm -hmm. and as uh, Uka said the fourth week will be in uh, will happen in uh, Timisoara so why organize this kind of training of trainers to to have new teacher 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 of phenomenalism and uh, uh, we need teacher because the the, the, the network is growing up and uh, with uh, Denis Jocelyn Bruno Frenet and me we organize we create a training <coughs> Uh, and we choose the best uh, exercise and the best methodology and uh, and we take information in the formation pedagogique of the Circus School of Brussels and because we have a, a big experience in training of trainers. What what are the skill what skills do you expect to to work on when you're training trainers? It's important to have, to be a teacher, so you have to, to manage a group. That's the first thing. And after that, you have to manage the security. That's really important because tight roping, phenomenalism could be dangerous. And after that, we have to learn how to teach, on to give the patient to 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 give the phenomenalism virus, and that's really important too. And so, and so do, you, do you need to be a very good phenomenalist yourself to teach phenomenalism? No, you, the, no we wait it's a good pedagogue. We, we, the, the transmission is more important than the, 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 the skill, the technique. Okay. Thank you very much, Vincent. Thank you, Valentin. We will... Uh, we, we, we're expecting another participant, the first participant of the day. So, Vincent, um, since you're here... Yes. How did you start phenomenalism? <laughs> When? When I, I... The first time? We, yes, we, we, we organized big events and one of the our artists uh, was uh, Denis Jocelyn, uh, Flambeul, and a fire 
Breather. Breather. The, the best player Breather I knew. And uh, but he's good he's good phenomenon so and he explained I I make a workshop um, uh, in, in my country and I ask is it possible to, to, to learn phenomenon? Oh yes, maybe yes. You can come in my 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 home, and we can try. And we went with four, five people of the circus school, no artists, only uh, people of the administration and some teacher. And uh, after three days in uh, the uh, Denis home in uh, Normandy. Uh, I felt it that's so good. That's so in the, the, the impact on my body, on my, uh, on my mind, the, the impression. And uh, it's best that the other circus skills. And, and what's really important is that it's really accessible. It's really accessible and really transform yourself. Thank you very much, Vincent. Thank you. And will you cross again today? Yes. Yes. Under the rain. OK, under the rain. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have other participants here that will share their experience. Bonjour, hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. What, what is your name? Uh, my name is Lisa. Lisa. Yes. Hello, Lisa. Uh, did you just cross the canal today? Yes, I crossed one and I will cross a second one time uh, now. Okay, so why do you choose to cross it a second time? Because um, the first time you just uh, step mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the second time I will try to do some... Uh, some figure <laughs> um, and uh, I, I, I work hard uh, during the, the week uh, to do that and so uh, I want to try. <laughs> nice. So how did you feel on the, on the cable? Uh, it's like um, it's freedom. Yeah, it's really uh, a sensation of uh, freedom of, uh, with the, the winds and uh, it's amazing. Freedom when you're on the wire and when before going on the wire, just the first step, how is that feeling? The first step, you have all your body who says, why are you here? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you paying for it? <laughs> it's like uh, you don't want to be there, but uh, the first step is the most difficult and then you go. And then you go and at the end, how do you feel? You feel like that? Yeah, going back. amazing freedom. It's amazing. And you, you go the other uh, platform and you just want to do it again. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much, Lisa. Good preparation for the next uh, crossing. Thank you. And I'll see you Have later. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye. And so we've got the first participant that crossed the canal today. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Can you present yourself? Yeah, I'm Louis, uh, Louis Gosselin, mm -hmm. and I'm a teacher at the Circus School of Brussels. I enjoy tightrope walking a lot, and uh, well, funambulism is a form of tightrope walking, so I guess I love that too. Okay, so did you, you started by tightrope walking and then, to funamb then crossed to funambulism? Yes. Three years ago, I started evening lessons of tightrope walking. Mm -hmm. I was working at a university, mm -hmm. and after a few months of that, I knew it was that I wanted to do. So I stopped with my, uh, with my university job and, and did the, the formation pedagogique at the circus school. That was one year ago. And that was uh, in order to be more involved in tight rope walking. And I soon understood that in the circus school of Brussels, when you want to do stuff with ropes, you have to do phenomenalism. So I learned how to use a balancing pole and yeah. And that was a good experience, yeah. That was a very good experience, yeah. And now you're, you're teaching mainly uh, phenomenalism then? No, no. Um, almost not at all, because mm -hmm. Vincent is teaching that, and yeah. he's doing that very well. So I'm mostly teaching to kids, circus, mm -hmm. and uh, so I brought a range of uh, circus skills to kids. I'm also the, the teacher of acrobatics for teenagers. Yeah. Okay, do you see special skills, special approach with the phenomenalism? Do you see specific with the apprentissage of phenomenalism? Do you see a special kind of set of mind with phenomenalism? Well, of course, because phenomenalism is mostly about uh, about the mindset. It's mostly a, a psychological thing, mm. and that's why it's open to everyone. You don't have to be in big condition to to do phenomenalism. It's it's about how you how you focus yourself on the wire, how you how you how you breathe, how you hold yourself, and and what you think about. It's about how you. Uh, are you going to, to face the heights? Are you going to face the fear? Because walking on a small wire, walking on a high wire, it's almost the same thing. You just have to, yeah, you just have to forget that it's a bit dangerous and a bit high. So what do you think? Do you think that it's not dangerous when you're crossing, actually? Well, um, I don't think it's dangerous. I know it's not, but I feel it's dangerous because my body screams, it's dangerous. Look at the water. It's so low. You're going to fall. And so the first step, how is the first step going on the cable? 
the first step is easy for me. Um, I mean, sometimes it's hard, but right here, uh, you have the wire over the canal and you have uh, also the wire a little bit over the, the end of the canal. So the first few steps are not that high. It's one or two meters above the ground. And then the third step comes and the third step is above the water. And, and that way is a bit more frightening. If you had to describe that third step, what would be the word? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's scary. It's scary. It's as good a word as any. And then the, word, the, the, the steps after these one, how are they? Well, they're challenging, but um, you focus more on the on the walk and how the public perceives you. So after after a few steps, you begin to to be more at ease, and, and it's just a matter of what you're doing, what you're presenting. It's quite hard in phenomenalism because um, in other circus disciplines, you're on a stage, you can do whatever you want. And, and whatever you want is good to present to the public. In phenomenalism, uh, holding your balance is key and, and you have to do that all the time. And so you cannot be anything, you cannot do anything for the public. You have to, to maintain your balance and, and think on a secondary level, what can I do to impress, what, what can I do that is worthy of being seen? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. And you're going to cross again today? I'm going to cross again today. Under the rain? Yeah. yeah, under the rain, that's not a problem. Very, very good. Have thank good you day. very much. Have a good day. Hello, and we've got another participant, the last one we will interview today. Hello. Hello. Who are you? My name is Axel. Axel. Where are you from? I'm from Berlin, Germany, and I'm living here for two years. You're living here for two years. Did you cross the canal today? Yes, I do. And I will do in a few minutes. And you will do again in a yeah. few minutes. When did you start phenomenalism? Uh, last year. Mm -hmm. um, I started with a, one, with a class with Vincent once a week. Mm -hmm. And that started in September until now. And then um, I participated in the workshop to prepare crossing the canal. Yeah. When, when you started the first time phenomenalism, did you think about going over the canal? Was that the goal or was that something that you would never think? Um, imagine? Indeed, when I saw this on the website of the um, circus school, um, they said that there will be a crossing and go way over the canal for i don't know some anniversary mm -hmm. and but then because of corona nothing happens so okay that i think that was it and now this was a surprise <laughs> a surprise crossing <laughs> yeah. very nice yeah. and you're gonna cross again today yes yeah how do you feel about crossing again very well um okay i'm full of adrenaline from the first time <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah it's completely different to the stage in the gar maritime mm -hmm. And um, because we are there, okay, we are only on five meters height, but the first step is into nothing. So you see immediately five meters, and here it's a different, you have the pull on your body and uh, you started with two meters, that's quite safe. Yep. <laughs> and then you fix the other side, well, and you will not realize that you will, from two meters to nine meters, so, so that works very well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel you you walking at nine meters yes, high, exactly. on forty meters long. Very yeah. nice, and you're full of adrenaline. So we'll let you go back on yeah. the wire. And it um, and at Camaritima there is only twenty meters. So yeah. this is double, but it feels shorter. Yeah, that's quite amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> and have a good crossing. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Bye bye. So I'm afraid. This was the final session of our Head Heart Balance Conference. We would like to thank everyone for joining in over the last two days. We hope that you have had as much fun as we have. A big thank to everyone who worked behind the scenes to make the conference happen. It's been a real team effort between speakers, performers and production team in 11 countries connecting us online. We hope to meet you all in real life soon. We invite you to follow the Wires Cross project and the work of the European Phenomenalism Network and to find the first possible opportunity to get up on the wire yourself. Thank you, everyone.